lot of my subscribers here on YouTube come from the Amazon side, which as you know, I'm not allowed to sell on Amazon anymore. And so uh, every time I upload an eBay video, I tend to get a lot of unsubscribes from the Amazon folks. And so that's been like, it was a tough thing to deal with. Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's been uh, a little while, about a month since I've made a video, and there's some underlying reasons why I haven't been. However, uh, I thought I would drop this video today just kind of to check in and to share with you what uh, what's going on. So uh, it's been about a month and a half or so, maybe a month since I've been into a thrift store. That changed today. Well, the caveat to that is that I did go to a thrift store about a week ago, but there was nothing there, and so that was it. Uh, however, I went today and I was able to find a few things. For the most part, thrift stores have really dried up in my area. It's very hard to find shoes. Not complaining, just basically telling it how it is. Uh, really difficult to find shoes right now. Jeans are moving slow because we're in summertime. And so uh, my main focus is on shirts and then sweaters for as we go into the fall time. We're in Q3, so Q4 is coming up soon. That's cold weather. That is time whenever uh, people are going to start buying the jeans, hopefully, and a lot of the uh, cold weather stuff like sweaters, vests, and jackets. So putting a lot of emphasis on that. With that being said, I'm going to show you some stuff that I found today. Uh, the first store that I went to was a local spot where I got 20% off. Every Tuesday is 20% off the store for anyone who shops. And so let's just go through this real quick. I'm making this video to bring awareness to you about um, just different brands and things to keep an eye out for. Uh, the first thing we have here is this uh, L.L. Bean women's uh, corduroy shirt. This shirt is not vintage. However, uh, they're going for about $25 to $30 in that range. Basically my criteria for shirts is I wanna spend anywhere from four to $5 max and be able to get at least 18 to $20 per item plus shipping. Next we have this Vineyard Vines fleece vest. There's the tag. Someone actually wrote their initials on it. However, uh, I don't think that will deter anyone from buying this. It's a nice Vineyard Vines fleece vest. Um, priced at $5, we paid four. This is a vintage L.L. Bean fleece with the snaps. This exact style, uh, this exact style is going for $35 to $40 uh, on recent comps. As we get into the cold weather, uh, more, I think those prices will adjust. It's got the embroidery of L.L. Bean right there on the chest. So uh, I'm pretty happy with this piece. It was $4.99, we paid $4. I picked up this shirt. I don't, I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Southern Tide, the Skipjack Polo. I'll let you look at that tag there. I paid uh, $3.99 plus 20% off and they're going for 20 to $26 plus shipping. Here's a brand um, I had heard of, but I had never found out in the stores. Uh, it's called Taylor Bird. Bird is spelled B-Y-R-D. And then it's got a picture of uh, a green flamingo on it. This shirt was priced at $1.99 and I got 20% off of that. And they're going for $25 to $35 plus shipping. Now, some of these are going to be longer sale time. So I might sit on them for a month, maybe two months. But uh, all in all, we spent $35 and uh, walked away with about $220 worth of shirts. This next one is, um, I found three of these, I think, in the store. The shirt is called Visconti Black. And I'll let you look at this tag here. It's not actually a tag, it's a, an embroidery right there. Visconti Black, and it's got that little hand logo there. Priced at $3.99 plus 20% off. And uh, these shirts were all going for like $25 to $30. Uh, my target price, 
my target sale price is 20 bucks. That's what I want to get in for these. So I'll price them probably $29 and then run sales in order to hook a buyer and get those things sold quickly. Here's another one of them, Visconti Black, priced at $3.99 and I paid 20% less for today's sale. Uh, cool design on this one. That other one, I'm not sure about the design. It's kind of kind of weird, so I'm not sure. Here is a third Visconti Black. These are all three XLT, so I'm I'm positive that it all came from the same person. Uh, I've not seen this brand out in the stores before. To see four of these shirts, plus them all be the same size, I'm confident that they came from the same donating person. Here is the fourth one. This one, I believe, will sell the fastest simply because it's a uh, just a solid black shirt. It is a textured material, but it's... Um, I'm pretty sure that this will sell. It was $3.99 plus 20% off, but the tag got uh, ripped off. But here it is. That's, uh, there's the label or the stitching. Uh, a nice shirt, 3XL. Here's something that's pretty cool with this. Uh, you see this shirt pattern here, and this black shirt actually has the same shirt pattern as the other one. Um, for its French cuffs. So it's a French cuff shirt. So on the inside of the cuff, you have the same print as this one. So I just find that interesting. This next shirt I've never heard of, but we picked it up for $3.99 plus 20% off. Thomas Dean. These are going for $35 to $40-ish. I'm going to try to get $20 bucks for it. Thomas Dean. And I believe it's 3XLT, so it came from the same... Yeah, this came from the same person. Whoever this person was had really good uh, fashion sense. Um, really great patterns and designs. And then lastly is this... Le Tigre uh, Polo. I've sold one of these in the past. I sort of equate them to like Lacoste, but this is Le Tigre. Uh, and it's got a tiger on the chest, similar to how Lacoste does. Um, this one was $1.99 plus 20% off. So then we hit a thrift store, a uh, Goodwill, for some shoes. The shoes, um, some of them were just priced way out of my budget. Uh, however, we were able to lock some in. I've been super picky with shoes uh, recently. I don't want to buy uh, shoes that need a ton of cleaning. I just simply don't have the time, and I've got so much stuff that has to be listed that I, I simply, uh, yeah, I don't have the time. So I'm picking up shoes that need minimal cleaning, and have the decent return basically built into them. So let's look at them and see what we got. First off is this pair of Bull Boxer men's boots right here. Uh, these are selling used this uh, this style in the like $45 to $59 range plus shipping. I did get a pair of youth Nikes. These were $6.99. I did get 20% off of everything because I had a, uh, a frequent shopper coupon for Goodwill, so these were $7 plus 20% off. I got a pair of Merrells. These are super dirty, but um, a quick pressure wash will get these looking fairly decent. We've got a pair of Nikes right here. I've never seen this kind of, uh, this, this model of Nike before. Paid $8.99 plus 20% off. Kind of a cool look. I don't know. They need minimal cleaning. I'm going to replace the laces all together because they have replacement laces in them already that are dingy so i'm just going to put new ones in and maybe do a quick wipe down and move them out the door and then finally this last pair i was really didn't know whether i should buy these or not but um i ended up getting them and i think it was a good move 8.99 plus 20 percent off and it's a pair of vans skate highs but it's a uh, navy blue with the brown backing on it i'll probably price these at 39 and take 30 dollars for them uh, i think it's a fairly decent purchase so we spent $32 on all the shoes at the second store so not a bad haul but I've got so many things have to be listed in my workspace that 
um, it doesn't make even it doesn't even make sense to go to the thrift store. Uh, where have I been recently? So let's switch gears and, and talk about where I've been recently and why I haven't been uploading. Uh, simply put, I feel like I got a little bit burned out I'm trying to go every single day and trying to hold myself to an upload schedule that just was not working for me. And so uh, I backed off of it. Now, that being said, you may recall seeing some of my poll posts recently where I talked about uh, I started some other YouTube channels and I'm working on those. These are all like YouTube channels where your face is not on camera, so you just kind of make videos or pay people to make videos and then you upload uh, with the intent of eventually becoming monetized on them. So uh, that's what I've been doing a lot of. Like half of my time goes towards that and half goes towards reselling. Um, that's kind of where I've been. That's my headspace. Uh, there's a lot of things that my wife and I have been talking about as far as the reselling goes. We're not giving it up. Um, however, ideally, I would like to move to an inventory-less job or a business where uh, I don't have to hold inventory or I have employees to handle all the inventory. Uh, simply put, I, I want to do some things in life where uh, it's going to be very difficult if I have to manage all the inventory and hold everything in-house. And so uh, we're throwing around a lot of ideas, uh, some ideas of starting our own thrift store, starting our own little uh, kind of boutique retail store where we will sell on eBay out of the back room. Not really sure. Uh, so we're throwing a lot of things, a lot of ideas around. And so that's why I haven't been uploading very often. Also, in addition to that, a lot of my subscribers here on YouTube come from the Amazon side, which as you know, I'm not allowed to sell on Amazon anymore. And so uh, every time I upload an eBay video, I tend to get a lot of unsubscribes from the Amazon folks. And so that's been like, it was a tough thing to deal with. So for that reason, I stopped uploading for a little while just so I could let the subscribers come in. And uh, I'm fairly confident that once I upload this video, I'm gonna lose subscribers. Uh, it is what it is, I guess. But just wanted to check in, let you guys know I'm doing good. Things are well, uh, the business moves on and, and keeps making money. And so I'm blessed, cannot complain, super grateful. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you on the next video.